Hey guys, today we are taking a look at two Kuma figures. So these are very small figures and they're not prize figures. So I got them used again for like uh, less than 10 bucks each so they were pretty cheap. Now they're both about the same size but we'll take a look at the differences. And at first let's take a look at this one. So this one is more realistic as you can see the color and the shadows are darker. Fur looks real like it has textures instead of being it all uh, flat. And then this one is more cartoonish. You can see that the color is brighter and he comes with a mini TV. Well, it's scaled with his size, so I guess it's not mini, but yes, he com it comes with the retro TV and the base looks different too. Although it's cartoonish, it does have lots of details and his, um, I don't know what you call it, but his frame around the head that's gold is actually gold and it's textured and the other one isn't. We'll take a look at that later but yeah this is simpler but it looks pretty good. Now comparing one and the other side by side you can see that the proportions are a little bit different. I think this one has smaller eyes Although he's just standing, it's pretty well made. You can see the wrinkle on his clothes. Well, I don't know what you want to call that, but his clothes, yeah, on the bottom side. His buttons are shiny compared to the other parts. And then moving on to the other one, you can see that the buttons are more shinier, more shinier, shinier <laughs> than the other one. And he has more shadows on the colors. Also, his color is darker in general. He doesn't have white other than his eyes. And you can see the differences there. But I feel like in general, the details put on both figures are about the same. I really like that uh, the one on the right has wrinkles under the zipper. I think that's pretty cool. I didn't notice it until I started recording. And this one just looks like, you know, uniform. He does have this uh, ball with spikes, I don't know what you call it in English, <laughs> but yes. His uh, fur, his head looks different. He has The one on the left has textures and the one on the right, this one, is smooth. I honestly prefer the smooth looking one, smoother one, because I don't know, it just looks better. And the TV looks like this. And yeah, it matches the figure very well. I think you could use it as a prop for other smaller figures, which is pretty cool. You don't have to have it out if you don't want to since it's not attached to anything. Overall, I prefer the cartoonish looking one, this one, because of the base and the colors. But the other one is pretty cool too. The other one looks smaller, I think, because he's like ducking down but he's about the same size and this is what I was talking about, the gold frame around his head. The one on the left looks realistic, but this one looks like it's just printed and not painted. Um, so yeah, I think they could have done a better job. It doesn't have any of that shine that it has on the left one. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know what you prefer and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!